And a small business in North Sacramento serving up soul food now vandalized once again. This is the fourth time that business has been hit in two years. And now we're learning more from the owners and surrounding businesses about what's going on in the area they're in. KCRA 3's Maricela De La Cruz is live now outside of Colo Soul Food with more. Maricela? Yes, Lisa, well, as you all mentioned, this business has been vandalized four times in the past two and a half years. The most recent incident happened just Monday night. This window was broken and it's now been boarded up. Now, the business owners tell me that they do feel that this it has been targeted, but this last time they didn't file a police report. Soul food fills up this restaurant in North Sacramento. But as fresh seafood has been cooked daily for the past two and a half years, Colo soul food and seafood has been vandalized again and again. We had someone come in and just bust the window. We don't know if we're being targeted, but um, it kind of feels like it. It's the fourth time, like you said, in the last two and a half years. Sacramento police confirmed they opened a vandalism and theft investigation last December. No arrests have been made. I think we've become very soft on crime. Um, and to some degree, it's our fault uh, because we kind of pushed back the police department and said, hey, hands off, you can't do this. This time around, the owners didn't file a police report. This is normal around here in this area, you know, and it just seems like it, it's become normalized to even the police department. Kevin adds that the problem goes beyond his business. We just need some help with some advocates coming here who are some counseling groups who specialize in mental health and trying to get these people around here the proper help. Council member Sean Laloy met with the owners after the most recent incident in which a window was broken and says he's doing his best to address homelessness and crime in his district. We can have these discussions about where the hot spots in our city that are getting, you know, vandalized. Um, so we can put more forces there. Council member Loloy believes that enforcing policies can help ensure safety at local businesses. Now, Kevin adds that he does see Sacramento police patrolling the area often, and he's also doing his part to try to avoid some of these crimes. He's installed surveillance cameras inside and outside his establishment. For now, live in Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.